It's amazing to me that you never even Googled the guy you played in my movie to like yeah. even see what he looks like. Google didn't exist then. Right. But it, it shocks me that you've never even seen a picture no. of the actual guy. No, I've never heard him, never seen him, nothing. That no. is so amazing because yeah. Gary and I were just saying you you are almost word for word identical to really? him. It just yeah. sort of happened organically and I don't know <laughs> I still to this day can never figure out well, that's but why you're a great actor. Where did you that's bring nuts. up why that was, character? How did you create him? I don't know. All I knew was that I was supposed to have this kind of stupid southern accent. Right. That's all when I went in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Betty Thomas said to me just do some stupid Colonel Sanders kind of accent. But, and and then, that's what I did. So that's all I knew. And then it was really well written. So. But out of curiosity why not look up what the guy looked like? Or? I didn't know he was a real guy. Oh. Oh. I mean, I, I, I was familiar enough with your program that I knew there was a guy, but I didn't realize it was that guy. So I didn't think I was supposed to look up anything. You thought maybe it was a compilation yes, of people? Yes, I thought it was a bunch of guys. Like the, the, the typical bad radio guy. Exactly. No, no, so. but there's an actual guy, I and know. you nailed it completely. Are you one of those actors that stays in character no. all the time? I don't recall you doing I that didn't. in private Did we part. even no. see him when he wasn't No, on the I set. wasn't, yeah. I realize now when yeah. people are in the movies, actors talk about other actors and they'll say, gee, working with Paul makes it easy. It does because yes. I remember doing scenes with you thinking, gee, those were, I never had a problem with any scenes we did. You could so, have a real reaction because he was so yeah. Yeah, but you into guys the were role. Easy to work yeah. with. I mean, that was, it, it was, was one it, of the first movies I'd ever done, so you guys were really easy to work with. What movies had you done before you got the role in Private Not Parts. Not much. There's one movie I got to ask you about. Was it? Were you in a film called Thunderpants about a kid who couldn't yeah. stop farting? Yeah, that was after. That was after. Yeah, that was the big <laughs> wow. step after, after Private wow. Parts. Wow. After I <laughs> Private Parts. That I thought was my after big move up. Was, Thunderpants was, was about a farting kid movie. I thought it was before Private no, Parts. I figured after Private no, Parts no. you were set. No, no. There that was, was a, a period of time. It was a couple of years after. So after Private Parts, it's, it seems like in my memory you just became this big star, no. but it wasn't that way. You finished Private Parts. I got a lot of good work, though. Right. Yeah. But, but it, Thunderpants <laughs> comes your way. And what do you play in Thunderpants? I play uh, like a CIA agent or something. I'm not even sure what it is I'm playing. And there. you're a CIA agent who has well, to investigate Thunderpants? I got to kidnap this kid and take him to NASA because they want to power a rocket with the kid's farts. <laughs> wow. It's a fart It's movie. a fart man. It's a fart man. Oh, my God. No, it's totally fart man. I never heard of this movie. It's, a good, it's British. Thunderpants. Thunderpants. So the kid farts and he has such a powerful Fart, fart that he, they want to power a rocket. So you come from NASA. I and come from NASA. You come to recruit this kid. I, I kidnap the kid. Does the kid? Oh, you kidnap him because we kidnap he, him, he doesn't want to help NASA. Why wouldn't no, a kid I who just, could fart? Like, I don't know. We have to whisk. It's all top secret. Yeah, I, I mean, guess, it's not like you were asking him to blow up somebody. You were asking <laughs> no. him to power a rocket to, that could essentially send us to the moon. Yeah. I then the kid's game. Then the kid's up for <laughs> oh, it. Oh, he but, realizes. Yes. Then he's up for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why go to the problem? Why go through the trouble of kidnapping <laughs> this fucking kid? It's supposed to be top secret. Is the idea. Was this based on a real story as well? I don't know. Something happened with that movie. It never made it to the States. But I was very eager to do it. Yeah. And the reason I got it is the guy was a big private parts Was fan. he really? Big private parts And, and did they pay you a lot of money for no. this movie? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so your, your salary, what was the big movie after private parts that got you noticed? I think... Uh, got me noticed? Yeah, like like the, like where all of a sudden mean, everyone was did talking. Did I make about, more money for? Or yeah, or just no, not noticed? didn't make more money for. But, um, but the one that because all of a sudden you became like uh, a big name. I think name. it was that car the Harvey the P Harvey Pekar thing. thing. Yeah, that yeah. was the big movie. I guess so. But you didn't get paid a lot of money for no, that. I didn't get paid anything for that. So what was after Harvey P car? That was the big movie. Uh, I guess Sideways. Sideways, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I didn't yeah. get paid for that either. <laughs> yeah. When do you get? What movie did you get? I got paid for Planet of the Apes. Did you? Yeah. Decent money. Pretty decent for me. Would you do Thunderpants too? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I actually <laughs> right enjoyed money. doing that movie. <laughs>